So this is your typical newsroom. You head back from a crucial assignment, head straight to your desk to start typing your story. But we all know the process of writing involves a lot of addition, subtraction, just to get that perfect script. But there's a game changer, artificial intelligence. It's revolutionizing the way we do things. Artificial intelligence, also known as AI, has made its way into our lives and is poised to become the next technological revolution. However, this advancement comes at a time when the media landscape is already polarized and still grappling with its implications. In the field of journalism, AI-powered tools are now capable of generating articles or reports, a task traditionally reserved for human journalists. Way back in 2014, there was a story about uh, uh, an earthquake. Within three minutes, the LA Times had published a full news story on that. Mm -hmm. They didn't send anybody out. It was just using AI. So the BBC uses AI to generate all these stories. So a lot of the stories that are published online are produced, generated, and churned out. Mm -hmm. like that. So we need to take a lot of learning from all this. Mind. Build enough consultation. It improves writing. What people are doing these days is they have an article... They open the chat GPT and say, rewrite this for me. And that's all they do. And the article comes out beautifully written. Numerous media companies have developed their own software capable of generating news articles in a matter of minutes, if not seconds. The secret behind AI's success lies in its ability to process vast amounts of data, whether in the form of numbers, audio or video. These software programs can transform this data into compelling news articles. Of course, like any new technology, AI has its limitations. Concerns regarding reliability and factual accuracy persist. The emergence of AI now makes it difficult to tell what's real and what's fake. In the world five years ago is not today. So the world is moving forward. So AI has become a part and parcel of us. So we can never completely say that we are ignoring AI. No, it has become part of us, but you have to analyze it critically or else you might find yourself wanting. This is where fact-checking becomes important mm -hmm. and also going back to the principles of journalism where you need to check your stories, check your sources and all those things. Unfortunately, especially with ChatGPT, there's been a lot of lazy journalism that we've seen. People just go there, the input in a prompt and then something is generated for them and they go to market where they go to publish it. That's a risk. You need to still, you don't have to lose your instincts, your principles as a journalist. While the widespread use of artificial intelligence is threatening jobs across various industries, many wonder if journalists and news anchors will be the next to be replaced. You may have heard robots being used as news anchors elsewhere in the world. Right here at Metro TV, we've begun using robotic cameras such as these ones. So you know what that means for camera technicians, right? Again, picture this. You switch on your television and you see a robot reading the news. What would your reaction be? Are our trusted news anchors now facing an uncertain future? No, 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 no. Who will who go out and bring them the news for them to read? Who? Is it you going there, bring the news for them to read, the robot to read? It can't be possible. Then you have, you have to stop the GID because there's no need for them. And you as well. Because the robot is going to do your work for you. How can a robot read whilst human beings are there who are not working? They are jobless. I wouldn't be surprised if I saw a, ro a robot reading the news. However, there's also the human feel to it. There are, as, as viewers, we, there are people we connect with. You, you have a newscaster that sometimes the way they present the news, you look up to maybe seeing them again. So you also have that kind of connection. I think it, 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 even if it attempts or they attempt to, to, to let AI take over, it will not work. It may not work. Why so? Why so? Because people are really inclined to believe humans when humans are talking than when robots are talking and also uh, the news for instance you know the news is not static you could you could be given a lineup to read the news that this 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 this, this. there could be a breaking news there could be there could be a, a breaking story 
I don't think the AI is that intelligent to really maneuver its way to, to, to get you the breaking news. We haven't finished with our bread and butter. So we will advance, but it's time. I don't, I'm not seeing that maybe in the next five years. No, I don't. Because there's a certain connection you really want with people. I mean, it's okay. Even with radio. Radio, you don't see the faces, but you always want to know who is behind this. Yeah, it may fascinate you, maybe in the first week, first two weeks, to say, oh, what? so it was just the computer that was talking to me. It was just the voice. People still want to see humans on TV. They want to still connect with them, see them cry, see them, you know, in their sad moments, happy moments. If not, then we're all going to be perfect, running like robots, but that's not going to happen. There are questions that continue to fuel debates and speculations as AI continues to advance and reshape the media landscape. But what is certain is that our trusted news anchors and journalists are not going anywhere. After all, the human touch makes all the difference. Eugenia Akofakumi, Metro News, Accra.